What is up guys, welcome back to Bottled and Bond. Today, we're gonna hit up a distillery that I've been eyeing for a while and I've been seeing other reviewers review and I've been trying to get my hand on. And just now, this last week, I was, well, last two weeks, I finally got a, my hands on one of the uh, New Riffs bottles. And today, we are gonna hit up their Bottled and Bond New Riffs Straight Bourbon. Bam! So this is the New Rift Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Bottled and Bond and they like to put on their bottle with no chill filtration. That's a real big thing for a lot of uh, reviewers, a lot of critiquers. They want to make sure that it's non-chill filtered. Um, one of the things that I've learned uh, f you know, from a little while back actually uh, that I didn't know is that <laughs> for some of you guys you may already know that whenever a uh, whiskey is not chill filtered and you chill it it does tend to get that cloudiness to it and more than likely maybe ruin the whiskey. I don't think I've attempted to drink a whiskey that's been cloudy because of the chill filtration after the fact of it not being chill filtered. But this is New Riff. New Riff is coming from Newport, Kentucky. Uh, Ken Lewis and Jay Ayersman are the founders. They founded New Riff back in 2014. Now, to my knowledge, there's a little history that goes with it, the fact that they're right next to what I think is a liquor store that they used to own and that's how they met. This was back in 2014 to my knowledge. So you're looking at a six year distillery, but in reality they've been kind of sort of doing things or at least uh, Ken or Jay, I'm not sure who started it. But um, what I do know about this is that they did use to source high ride bourbon from MGP. No longer the case, they are now uh, bottling, well aging and bottling from their own distillate. This specific bottle is obviously a bottle of the monster. You're looking at 100 proof. It is a four plus year, 100 proof bottle of the bond bottle. Uh, the ones that I've had so far have been, I believe one bottle of the bond was about four to six years and the rest of them have been about 10 years. So I'm pretty excited, almost curious, and I'm a little bit afraid of what this is gonna pack or lack thereof. The mash bill on this is a 65% corn, 30% rye, and 5% malted barley. Nonetheless, guys, let's open it up. Synthetic, black synthetic, black lives matter. A lot of the uh, reviewers, whiskey enthusiasts, man, look at that color, dark amber color. Um, and I'm already picking up some notes on those. But a lot of the uh, reviewers, critiquers, uh, enthusiasts, you know, whatever you want to call them, they've reviewed this already, they've had their hands on many different expressions and they do make quite a few different expressions and they've all been raving about it, they've all been, you know, giving it uh, such a hype for the most part, so I've grown curious and I'm glad to finally have a dram of this so-called delicious whiskey. So being completely honest with you, the first thing that hits my nose is an almond, not an almond, there's a different nut that I'm picking up. And I forget the name. I'm, I'm don't feel like googling right now. But it's a specific nut, so it's very nutty, very woody, very woody character. You do still pick up classic notes. I am picking up a decent amount of cinnamon and brown sugar. I am picking up slight, very very slight vanilla, and maybe a light amount of honey. But the cinnamon and brown sugar are more dominant to the nose. Oh, I'm picking up caramel as well. That's some, I, it's funny because initially sniffing it from this side to this side, I was picking up that. When I went the opposite direction, bam, caramel. Very slight chocolatey, little coffee cake. Man, this is, so I'm picking up coffee. Well, more like a coffee cake because of the brown sugar. All right, so the coffee cake because of a note of coffee, a note of brown sugar, a little bit of honey, a little bit of vanilla, uh, cinnamon, very nutty and a very strong woody character. Cheers. This is good. This is, it's good. I'll tell you like this. As soon as it goes in the palate, it is a sweet, nutty character. The woody is not overpowering. A little bit of a linger. Sweet cinnamon towards the back and the finish. You know, this isn't a, look, it's a mid-range, mid-range bourbon. It's a bottle of Milan. I forget the price that I paid for this New Riff. Uh, 
I've heard around 50 bucks. I want to say maybe I paid 45 if I had to recheck online what I paid for it. But I want to say maybe I've seen prices between 35, 45, and as much as 50 uh, for a $50 bottle, which is what the average price that I've seen online is. One more, and then we'll see if it's worth it. Oh yeah, sweet coffee cake forward, sweet caramel, toffee candy, a little cherry, a little molasses, brown sugar, honey caramel. Oh yeah, to the palate, this is classic. This is genuine. This is something that I wish New Riff was paying me to say. But this is great, and for a bottle in Bond, it's not overpowering. This is a sour mash. And one of the things that I've been wanting to uh, go back to is the mixers. There's sour mash, not just the one that I reviewed here, just a specific sour mash, because people tend to say that the sour mash is, is just pack a different flavor, a different punch. Talking about punch, this does have a little bit of a fruity character. I can't pinpoint what it is though, because everything else, the toffee candy, the coffee cake, the, the molasses, the cinnamon, the cherry, the caramel, man, the caramel, the brown sugar are delicious in this. I freaking love it. So, cheers for a third time. It's like a chocolate caramel swirl candy melting in your mouth. Gosh. Come on now. Listen, New Riff and Bartstown are the two distilleries that I've been dying to check out and dying to visit and dying to just pick up their products because I've seen the reviews online and my interest has freaking sparked way high. If you guys have had New Riff Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey from New Riff Distillery, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys thought. This is their bottled in bond, non chill filter sour mash, a 100 proof delicacy. Let me know what whiskeys you think I should be reviewing next here on Bottled and Bond. I'm Ozzy. This is the New Rift Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey for New Rift Distillery in Newport, Kentucky. Bottled and Bond. And this is Bottled and Bond. <laughs> Cheers!